Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro 2. Ripto's Rage Reignited. I'm Burning Dog Face. And we're here in the Summer Forest, because there are still some gems and an orb left to be found here. This way. Oh! Well, would you look at that! Well, I don't remember this at all, actually. Hmm, okay. What is down here? Ooh. I think I found the right place. Closer. Well, I'll be damned. It's, it's right here. Huh! A minute and a half and I'm already making progress. Yeah. I love little firework effect. Hell yes! The first uh, hub world completed. Man, it has been a long, long time since uh, Hunter gave me an orb for uh, completing the gliding tutorial. Oh, and I learned a thing. Uh, they changed up one of the animations on the sheep. Uh, in the first game, if you burned them, they did that amusing, oh no, my clothes animation that they still do. But in the first game, if you rammed them, they just went flying and then died. In this game, they just explode into cotton. Oh no. <laughs> I wonder why that lags there sometimes. And how much can it be loading? Once again, I was not looking in the drink. Oh. Huh. Five more. That could be as low as a single gem hidden somewhere. And it's right there. Oh, wow. I hit the, uh, the... hover button exactly as I touched the down. So I just went to, you know, look around view instead. We're running. Oh, I thought I did that already. That's better. the other end of this, anyway. It's nothing? I think it was nothing. Yes, it was nothing. Okay, rad. 
I really can't decide where the gems are. Or, you know, I've gone in a circle. Alright. While I'm looking around for gemery dues, uh... I did note a thing after the previous session, so uh, here's a video clip I recorded then. Hey guys, I don't actually know when I'm going to use this clip, but I noticed while completing the trolley that, uh... Well, the text changes rather dramatically, the, you know, trouble with the trolley, eh? When you, uh... switch from, uh... controller controls to keyboard and mouse controls. So I'm gonna get in there, start it up, and immediately lose to see what the guy says to me if I switch to keyboard and mouse controls. Ready? Trouble with the trolley, eh? Well, use the left stick huh. to change lanes. Press the jump button to jump, Press the attack button to fire the cannon! Oh, that's why it looked like that. Yes, uh, if you use the keyboard and mouse controls, it can't all fit on the screen at once. But if you use the keyboard and mouse, uh, sorry, the controller, it does. That's why it looked different. It looked, when I did this, it looked like he, uh, skipped his entire spiel. Just got straight to the instructions. I didn't even think about the fact that W wasn't there. I also find it interesting that he always says left stick out loud. And there you have it. So I thought that was neat. Just checking. Up there. Didn't there used to be, like, a whole fucking island out there? Where could it be? They're in the fucking walls, man. Oh, hey! How did I do that? Well, now, that is satisfying. Although, if that's 100% level complete, then I guess there's no, like, hidden goods and services in the far you know, outskirts of the world. Speedway. Huh. Just not loving the, you know, under 115 ones. Gotta say that. I don't actually know how fast I did those things. I mean, for all I know, I just need to get them again, and I was already fine to uh, do them. It just needs to count. You know, once it's counting up, rather than counting down. Oh dear. Well, he landed well. Strange to me that this one has so many fewer levels. Mind you, it's also strange to me that they... They were making the game, you know? It's not like they were beholden to the story that already existed. Mm, that's tasty. So, I don't really know why they did that. Why they didn't just keep going with the talismans. Because I thought that was a nice, you know, uh, balance they had going. The, the objective is to reach the guy at the end of the level and get a talisman. But there's also all these optional orbs and shit everywhere. Oh, 
I mean, it got to the point where I was thinking of the orbs as just a meaningless, shiny trinket, and then I found out they power the portal, and now I'm struggling not to think of them as meaningless, shiny trinkets, because it's strangely disappointing when I reach the end of the level and get an orb instead of a talisman. All right, I guess I might as well get started on the speeding. Actually, yeah, we'll just go straight here. Uh, Ocean Speedway. Oh boy, wish me luck. I suppose I still have to fight Crush and Gulp again, so that's obvi uh, obvious, and no, that's awesome. Under one minute and ten seconds. Probably can't do that if I want to make the timer. Fuck! I lost control. I was about to, like, try and, you know, hover or whatever to get back on, and, you know, it'll be easier if I just do this. Goddamn speedboats! Where were they? On the wrong side. I'm not going to make it there. Ah, shit! That was the one right there. Yeah, under 110. Okay, then I'm gonna really need to pull out all the fucking stops. Oh, boy. I'll go with the arches instead of the, uh, the cars. Second, I mean. Come on, here we go. They even put challenges on the, uh... On the, 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 the speedway levels in the first game. I'm sorry, they called them flight levels back then. Back here. Uh, damn! Assholes. 
No! Uh... And then the car track is right here. at that fuck well now I believe I can do it while we're in the middle of this elevator cut Shout out to Shane Reeves, who left an interesting comment on the subject of the robot wasps from Robotica Farms. I didn't really think of where the wasps came from when I was younger, but when I played it again a few years after I first played it, I always envisioned a giant queen wasp, even if that isn't wholly accurate, that instead of the regular birthing process, it had assembly organs to make the wasps. I think a uh, uh, you know, factory as queen idea is actually very clever. Oh, and for the record, that last image, as well as this one, were screenshots I took during my Let's Play of Piku Niku. I just thought it would be funny to show something totally unrelated when I cut away to read out a uh, comment. <laughs> Fifteenth attempt since the jump cut after that record that wasn't good enough. Come on. Comes the tricky part. Hit this guy without touching the water. Ah. <sighs> Holy shit! I knew I had the path down. You know, once I realized that I had that weird S-shaped thing that let me take all of the boat's face on, that made all the difference in the world. I just need to be able to do it quickly. And, you know, without slamming into the water when I'm going after that last boat guy, because you have to be dangling down after the ramp to get him. Oh, man! Oh. Nice work, Spyro! The orbs you're carrying have activated the special Oh, portal. yes, 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 you right. You'll find a talisman in Ocean Speedway. But if you're fast, you'll get lots of treasure. Have fun! Uh, I guess I could try crush his dungeon and try to perfect him, but... And that would give me the, uh, the first of the, uh, the pages. That would be very encouraging. They really don't move until you move. Okay. And then I run away. And then I run away from 
this. And then we run. Oh, the fire one. Here comes the fire. No, 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 no. I'm gonna treat it like I'm made of glass. No! My thumb pressed over A when I was reaching for B. Come on! Man, he really is big. Way bigger than he looked in those cutscenes, to be honest. Yeah, 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 yeah. He just follows you around before he tries to do that. I forgot. And we're running. And we're running. Ugh. Almost got squished myself. Shockwaves. defeat that simpleton, but golf will be more than a match for you. Bring it on, shorty. Golf, come here now. Destroy him and make sure it's painful. Go, get me out of here. So long. Dragon. What a wuss. Nice. I did not expect to get that on my first try. Delicious. Uh -huh. Ah, yes, the remastered version of the original box art. Which was, quite frankly, a bit plain. Like, I'm not actually sure there was a picture of Ripto there. Might have just been Spyro and Fire. Moneybag, Scarlet, Lizard, and the Professor. Huh, those guys really only appeared in one level, didn't they? That first one, they were teaching me about using them as targets for uh, aiming mode. Puffing platypus, kangaroo thief, snail elephant, and snail rhino. Colossus yeti, goat, and yak. Breeze builder, falcon. Oh, I guess I thought it was an eagle. I thought for sure it was an eagle. Chick and parrot. Dolphin spectators, fish spectators, and Queen Finny. Especially like the drinking hat on a uh, species that's supposed to live in the water. Earth shapers, bee tree, and killer bush. That was a weird level. Cresta, satyr, and Bippo the fawn. So were those originally meant to be just uh, two specific characters, but then they made them into broad, general characters? So that's just what all the fawns look like? I find it weird that they have names in this uh, concept art. 
Oh, yes. Bo Peep, uh, Fire Grub, Bucket, Corporal Glug, Sergeant Tub, and Colonel Blub of the Land Blubbers. And alive. Juliet and Romeo. Of course. Screenshot. This is silly. Oh boy, all of that shite. Not looking forward to this! Ha ha ha! Oh god. I'm trying to think which one would be the easiest one to take out. Maybe Metro, because none of the targets are moving, I think? You know, because you can you don't have to hit the bungee jumpers, you can just hit their bungees. Well. We made actual real progress in this uh, episode of Let's Play Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. But I must call it here. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you next time when we continue checking things off the to-do list and getting closer and closer to our final confrontation with Ripto. Ooh, probably not our final, final one, since I will probably have to do it more than once to uh, get the perfect, but, you know, one problem at a time. Later. <laughs>